Hey guys, Sarah here from Humble Moon Designs, and I figured I would just record myself making this stamp. Um, so, this is my design. It's traced, it's good to go. Um, that's what you want to do first. Upload your design, make sure it's all traced and how you want it. Then duplicate it. For this one, we're going to put a box around it. This is going to be used for our mount. I'm going to have my box at 2.5 inches by one inch, and then I'm going to center it. And then I'm gonna group it so it stays put. All right, I'm gonna put that over there. This one, the second one is for the rubber. So the first thing you wanna do before flipping and everything, you wanna offset it. And the reason I will say you wanna offset it is because you don't need to make an entire square full of rubber you offset it a little bit and your stamp will come out way better. Um, and I believe it's 0 0.030, let's see. Yeah, so 0 0.030 works good. Go ahead and hit apply. Well, it works good for this one. You'll just have to be the judge on yours. Um, go ahead and hit apply and then remove the design. Hit release compound path and then drag this outline over here and erase all these little tiny things because you really don't need them. Then go ahead and select the outline, the offset outline and your design and go ahead and center it again. Group it. Actually, before you group it, you need to make a copy of the outline. So we're gonna make a copy so you'll have two of the offset outlines and one of the designs and the reason for that is because when you go in you're gonna have to use the fill mode and when you use the fill mode it needs something to fill because if you hit the fill mode on just the design then it's not gonna do what you want it to do um, by having the outline or the box, whatever you choose, but I recommend the outline, the offset outline, by having that, it will make it so your rubber, like the, um, the design is up, if that makes sense. So this is going to be black when I use my black ink. Um, if you do it the other way, it will, it'll be different. Like everything else will be black and then your design will be white or clear or whatever you're stamping on color. So go ahead. All right, we grouped that. Now we'll select both of these and we're just gonna flip them horizontally. Okay, now for this one, don't put it in the middle yet because we're going to pick up back on this on Lightburn. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save as Save to hard drive, HMD, whoops, stamp, one. Save as an SVG so that you're able to open it up in Lightburn. I've already got a new thing, so I'm just going to import my design. Um, Okay, and I have played around with the settings like crazy, and the best setting I can find for my machine, which I'm using um, the Nova 24 Thunder Laser, um, 270, so you're going to come over here and do fill and the speed I'm putting at 200 and the design I'll put at 70 okay and for advanced we're going to use the ramp and I am going to do 0 0.0393 the ramp is going to give a little bit of extra um, stability for those thinner lines. And since I'm using text on a small stamp, I'm going to use the ramp. 
And then with this filled, you're gonna use this as your cut line so it cuts the rubber out. Sometimes my machine cuts rubber like butter and sometimes it needs a couple of passes. So I'm gonna make this a different color. I'm gonna just make it this red color and I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna use 13 speed and 100 power. And I'm just gonna do two passes. Um, it's, yeah, like I said, sometimes my machine's just like, mm, no, I wanna do 15 passes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so then you're gonna select these. Make sure this is grouped too, okay? So, group it, all right, and then select these two, this and this, and do the center, all right, and that is what it's going to look like. This over here is for the mount, so enable, or in order to have what you want. You want to copy this box and paste it so it can be a little thicker depending on the material you use. I just do two because I use one fourth. Um, right now I'm using one fourth poplar and I'm just, you know, double layering it. Um, for bigger stamps, I highly recommend you get this foam. It's just, it's just simple craft foam. It's got adhesive on the back, but I don't even mess with the adhesive on the back. Um, for bigger stamps, the craft foam is going to help it um, even out, help the stamp even out so you get a nice stamp. Um, and that's pretty simple. It takes pretty low power, um, probably no more than 20 or 25, and the speed can be, you know, pretty fast. Um, um, yeah, so <laughs> just decide if you want to do the foam. I'm not doing the foam right now because um, I don't think I'll need it for this little stamp. But this is ready to go, so select it. Do a window and preview just to double check and make sure. Um, and that's what it's going to look like. So the material I use is actually one eighth inch rubber. You can get it from Amazon, but I get it from Crazy Laser Dad, I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, you do that, uh, order it, that's what I use. So I'm gonna pause it really quick and go over to the machine and show y'all how it cuts. All right, so I've got my rubber on my bed. Go over here, file, enter, frame it. All right, and then I'm going to hit it. so as you can see I cut the little mount and and here's my little rubber um, it'll have a little bit of white residue and the best thing that I have found that works is the Dawn dish spray so this is the glue that I normally use um, it's just really fast and that is what I need. <laughs> so, first thing I'm going to do is open it. And I'm going to glue these together. So, make sure they're 
even and if you use this glue then you don't have a whole lot of time to fix it if it's not even so keep that in mind um, you can also clean this off i use vinegar all right and there's your mount sorry i was spray painting earlier <laughs> there's your mount flip it and you're gonna put the stamp right on there as evenly as possible just like that okay so does not need a whole lot of glue but you do need to make sure you're getting them edges Again, I don't know how the rest of the world does stamps. This is just how I learned to do them with some trial and error. So I hope this video will help you. All right, now you're gonna do it. And what I do is I just tap it. It will not take long to dry at all. All right, let's test it out. Got a, some cool colors, so I'll use purple. Let's see how it goes. Um, the best way to put a stamp on is to make sure that your surface is even. Give me a second, I have to find a clean sheet. Just trying to make sure it all gets ink. The first time, sometimes it gives you a hard time. And I'm doing this on wood, so hopefully it's straight enough. All right, here we go. There you go. That is how I do my stamps. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. It's My name is Sarah and I'm with Humble Moon Design. So I'm on Instagram and Facebook and all sorts of things. All right, have a great day, bye.